It's great, Lovely. isn't it? Well done, Ed. Yeah. And he's such a good swimmer, isn't he? He is so good. And in fact, I think he's doing the peer-to-peer -peer with David Allard this year. Yeah, well, he's done it before, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he has. And that's the first in a series of those uh, favourite place reports. You've filmed a bit of yours, haven't I you, have, already? Yes, so we'll look forward in the to future. seeing some more. Um, water has to be a few degrees warmer for me to get in the sea, I'm afraid. Yes. How's it looking? <laughs> About 12 to 13 degrees at the moment in the sea. But in fact, on land, it's a lot warmer. We've seen some lovely pictures today. More in Coles sent us this shot of the view in Meon Stoke. Alan Robinson photographed deer in Woodman Coat in West Sussex, thank you. And here's a magpie checking out the view in Bournemouth. This photo was taken by Sid Hearth. So we've had some lovely photos. You can check all those photos out on our Facebook page. We've had some sunny spells today and scattered showers. It really spot the difference over the next few days because we'll have a similar story. We had some sunshine today. This picture was taken in Hampshire by Bumblebee, one of our weather watchers. Tomorrow, as we head through the day, there will be a few showers. They possibly won't be as frequent as today. Some areas could stay dry altogether, but we're expecting some rain later and the showers could be heavy and perhaps thundery in a few places. Overnight tonight, there will be some patchy cloud, one or two showers initially. Then it becomes drier as we head through the early hours of the morning. And temperatures will fall between 6 and 9 degrees with the light wind. So some places tomorrow morning could start the day with a fair amount of cloud. But that should thin and break to allow for some sunny spells. But with the daytime heating, we are looking at showers starting to develop during the course of the day. They could be slow moving with the light winds, with hail and thunder. And temperatures tomorrow will peak at around 15, possibly 16 degrees. 16 is the seasonal average. But we're keeping a close eye on some rain, which will move up tomorrow evening from the south, affecting many places tomorrow night. So on the inshore waters, the winds are fairly variable. They're southerly becoming variable two to four, becoming westerly or northwesterly three to five. And as you can see, the weather is rain or showers. So it's that rain band we are going to see tomorrow night moving its way up from the English Channel. As it does so, it could become quite heavy and persistent during the early hours of Thursday morning. With it, we'll have a lot of cloud and it will be slow moving that rain band because of the light winds. Lows tomorrow night of between seven and nine Celsius. So it's a wet start to the day on Thursday. We'll have light winds as well, so that rain will be slow to clear during the morning. Once it does clear, we're looking at showers developing and a fair amount of cloud during the course of the day. But we're hopeful that cloud will thin and break in some places to allow for some bright or sunny spells. So really spot the difference right the way through this week. We've had showers, uh, scattered showers and sunny spells. Still the chance of hail, thunder and even lightning strikes in a few places right the way through to the weekend. Jay. Sounds very unsettled. Thanks very much, Alexis. Well, that's all from us this evening. We're back with our late news at half past ten. Bye-bye. Good night.